Uh, Greenfield is growing about 11.8 tonne of dry matter in 2011. So far this year it's produced about 5 tonne of grass dry matter in 2012. It's, it's a very dry farm so grass utilisation isn't a problem here. We, rec we estimate that grass utilisation is about 90% uh, in 2011 and pretty much the same for 2012 to date. Like the, the key thing here is I, I suppose we expect Greenfield Farm to produce 15, 14, 15 tonne of grass dry matter. So the variety we're looking at next is a variety called Terella. Should be well known to a lot of you there. What is it? It's a late heading perennial ryegrass, which means that it goes to seed maybe mid to late June. And if you look there on the board, you can see across the farm, it's very high yielding. 13 and a half tonnes of dry matter per hectare per year. So Torella, I would say for anyone here, you know, looking to put, a, put together, you know, a monoculture, maybe a mixture of two or three varieties, I definitely would include Torella because A, it's very persistent, which means it won't go away, it takes a bit of hardship. B, it has good ground cover, which is good, as you know, when cows are walking, especially in the weather we're having at the moment. And the third reason is that of all the varieties we have currently, it is one of the highest yielding in the springtime. Now, if you look at the recommended list of perennial ryegrasses, you'll see these numbers for spring and autumn growth. 100 is the base average. Torella would have a, a growth rate figure of over 120 for spring growth. So if it's included in the mix, it's one way of helping you to have a bit more grass in the springtime, which also means you can produce more milk from grass and cut, cut back a bit on the meals and have a higher growth rate. So it's a very good variety, and really the message from this stand really here is that it's standing up to what it says on the tin. It is performing as you would expect from the cutting and weighing trials done at other four centres around the country. We're not promoting monoculture here today really, we're just looking at individual monoculture and how are they performed. But my advice as a dairy advisor to most of my clients, to all of my clients really, would be, you know, look at putting three, maybe four max varieties together to make up your seeding rate of 26 pounds per acre or 12 kilos per acre if that's what you're working in. And no more. And our work from Moor Park from Michael O'Donovan and more research in the Moor Park is showing is that any variety that's in at less than three kilos per acre is not really contributing an awful lot over the full year and really to avoid these cocktails of mixtures you might see on the market. And number one, I suppose, lesson would be to make sure the varieties that you're looking at are actually on the department recommended list. So we're, talking about, we're going to look at two other varieties. This is Torella, very high for spring growth, persistence and good ground cover which is everything you need really for grazing grass and I would I'd be very hard pushed to avoid it at the moment in any mixture that I'm putting together for any for any one farmer here.